Hi guys, I'm so excited to do this video. This is the VIB sale wishlist video for fall 2018. This is a video I like to do every time a VIB sale rolls around. It's kind of like back and forth, like here's what I kind of want and my thoughts on it. And then also, please give me any feedback that you have. If you own these products, if you like them, if you hate them, let me know. Um, and then of course there will be a haul. Now this is a little bit different because Sephora hates me this year and there's two weekends for the sale. The first one is like the 26th to the 29th. My house doesn't sell till the 29th and I can't be spending money until the 29th. Um, once that house sale money comes in, I can spend it for sure, but I can't spend money till then. And then um, I will probably be traveling the next weekend of the sale, which is the second to like the sixth or something. So unless I can get my little butt into an actual Sephora proper, I might be up the creek in terms of actually buying stuff because I won't have an address to send it to. These are all the things that are on my current loves list and uh, the things that I'm really thinking of. I'm gonna put pictures up here. Number one, and this is very high on top of the list, is the Sephora Collection Sephora Pro Editorial 2.0 Palette. If you follow my channel, you know how much I love the original Sephora Pro Editorial Palette. It's got so many colors. It's so fun to work with. They're all pigmented. They're all just like so blendable and so fun to work with. And that palette is very, very, very bright. This one is almost like colorful, but toned down. It's a little bit more like jewel tones and I am so in love with it already. So I am like, that is top of my list. I'm also really interested in the Cover FX Power Play Concealer, but there's a few concealers on my loves list here that I want to kind of try. I might pick up more than one, but We'll see, because there's multiple here, so we'll see which ones I end up with. Um, I have here a few little minis from MAC. There's, and I put the minis on here because you know, you never really finish lipstick. Um, there's Whirl and Mare, and both of those are kind of like those rosy, mauve tones that everyone loves. They're both very much um, like classic MAC colors that I have not tried yet. And speaking of MAC products I have not tried yet, MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. Can you believe I've never tried it? Um, I really would like to, just to test it on my channel, just to see how it is, if I like it. It's a very classic product. It's their staple foundation. I would really like to try it out. There's the Urban Decay All Nighter um, in the cherry scent. <laughs> it's a travel size, which is why I added it in the first place. I still have my regular All Nighter, which is almost closing it on done, but I just, I wanna smell the cherry scent. I wonder if it's in store anywhere, cause if it is, I'd like to smell it first, but um, yeah, I'm really attracted to that. Okay, Givenchy L'Interdite Eau de Parfum. Um, this is their newest perfume, and I smelled it in store, and I really liked it, but there's quite a few perfumes that have been on my list of wanting to buy for a long time, so we will see on that one. Um, Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Eyeshadow Palette. I have a feeling I won't get this, even though I'm attracted to it. Um, I still have barely played with my chocolate gold that I got last Christmas. Like I feel like I've only busted out a few times this year and I, I want to more and I don't want to add like another palette into the mix when I know I'm going to be getting a few palettes from this, um, this sale for sure. So I'm going to have to keep it very tight as to how many palettes I'm actually going to end up with. The Sephora Collection Museum of Ice Cream Sprinkle Pool Brush Set. You guys, these brushes are the most adorable brushes ever. They have little sprinkles in the handle, like you could shake it. Like, they are so cute. I saw them in store and I'm like, dead. Um, but... I don't think it's a necessary thing, but they are so adorable. The Urban Decay Elements Eyeshadow Palette. I am so like into this, but I will say that I have been so into the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette and I feel like it's very much a very similar thing. So we'll see as to whether I get this Elements Palette or not. I might hold off. You know how Urban Decay um, Limited Edition Palettes often go on sale? Well, I'm hoping that that's gonna be the case with a few eventually getting them for like half off or on Sephora clearance or something like that. Um, so I might hold off on this, but I really like this palette. The Norvina palette is one that I was super excited about when it first launched. And I still am, but there's other palettes I think that have replaced my want. So I don't know about that one. That's a like big if. Um, the two palettes that for sure I'm gonna get are from Huda Beauty, the Obsessions palettes, the Precious Stones collection, the Emerald one, and the Amethyst, which is the green and the purple. I have been, like, dying to get my hands on these ever since I first saw them come out, and that, that, that diehard, like, want for them has not, um, 
diminished in any way. <laughs> okay. Also from MAC, the Prep and Prime Fix Plus in Coconut. I tried this before when they first only came out in minis last holiday. Love it. I love the coconut scent and I love Fix Plus. I'm also very close to done my original, so I will need a replacement anyway, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that. Another concealer is the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. I have heard from many people that it's amazing, um, like really hydrating, really great, and pretty sure I'm going to get that one out of all the concealers. I'll probably end up with two. Another concealer here is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Full Coverage Concealer. I haven't really heard a lot about it. What I will say is back when I tried the um, foundation when it first launched, just probably two years ago now, it's way too oily for my oily skin. But I'm thinking because the only dry place on my face is my under eye, that the concealer might actually be good for me. So I'm thinking about it, thinking about it, you know? Jouer Powder Highlighter in Skinny Dip. I love my Topaz highlighter from Jouer. It is one of my favorite highlighters. It is gorgeous. And I want to try more from them. Um, so Skinny Dip is a shade that I think is pretty popular. Also from Jouer, I think it'd be fun to try one of their foundations. This is the Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. I just realized how much stuff I'm talking about. Like, there's no way I'm buying all of this, guys. <laughs> Literally, I probably just rattled off like $500 worth of stuff. There's no way, but I'm gonna go a little ham, just not not this ham. I gotta be like very, this is why we do this video, so you guys can give me feedback. Um, okay, the Violet Voss Flamingo Pro Eyeshadow Palette. I don't see why I wouldn't get this in this sale. Um, I have been wanting this since it first launched in the summer. I've been dying to get it. It's top of my list palette. I am so excited over this palette and I haven't been able to buy it yet. So I really, 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 really want it. Another palette, the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I have heard only good things about this palette. I am excited over it. Um, I think it'll be a great fall and winter palette but there's a lot of palettes on this list. And again, with Urban Decay, like I always, like I never want to buy full price Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes because if they're limited edition, you know they're going to go on sale, um, like clearance eventually. So it makes me want to hold off on it. There's a single eyeshadow that's been on here for a while that I really want. It's the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot and Frosé, which is a metallic rose gold. I actually swatched this in store and it's beautiful. It's that very like liquidy, not liquidy, but like metallic, like molten is the word I want. Like that molten metallic um, shadow that just when you swatch it is just like liquid metal on your hand. So I really am drawn to that shade in particular. Um, also the Kate Somerville Uncomplicated SPF 50 Soft Focus Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff is expensive AF, but it's that SPF 50 that you can add on top of your made up face, which you can't normally do. Like I have never seen someone come up with a solution of how to re-add SPF to your face after you put on makeup, except for a spray. I believe it's like an aerosol, which I think is gonna give you a little bit better coverage than that like spray bottle type, which I've tried the Kula one before that is in that spray bottle type and I never liked it. So, I'm really interested to try that. I do need another actual moisturizer. Um, the one that I love is from Bosha. It's the Self-Defense Vital Antioxidant Moisture. The only thing about it is I always find that it gets used up so quickly. Um, so I actually might try going back to Paula's Choice moisturizer that I used to love instead, but we'll see what happens there. One thing that I would really like to get is the Dr. Dart Water Fuse Hydro Sleep Mask. I thought I was buying this back in the spring and I accidentally bought the moisturizer. Um, I had like a deluxe sample size of the sleeping mask from this line and I loved it. So I thought I was buying it, but it turned out I just bought the regular moisturizer. So I'd really like to get the sleeping mask. It's a really good skincare product, like adds so much moisture to your skin, plumps up your skin overnight into the morning. I've had this Natasha Denona Duo Glow, um, like blush highlight on here for months. It's in the shade 02 Rayo, which is an icy pink undertone highlighter blush. And it, the swatches look gorgeous. I've wanted it for a long time. She also has some new highlighters out too. So I've never, like there's no Natasha Denona in store for me to swatch. So it's kind of like sight unseen type thing, but it looks really beautiful. All right, you guys, honestly, there was like 40 other products on this list, but I'm realistically, 
I know which ones I'm for sure not getting, so I did skip over a lot. Everybody's love list is always like an explosion of wants, but usually it's very few things that you actually end up buying. So everything I mentioned, I think, is going to be something that is actually a potential purchase for me. So please let me know your thoughts on all of those and what are you thinking of buying during this sale? And I am super excited to finally go a little ham buying makeup again. Um, it's gonna be a haul once it happens for sure. Okay guys, that is it. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. I hope that you're speaking kindly to yourself, especially when you look in the mirror. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.